All right, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Yahweh is the name of um, our Father. By Hashem just means in the name of, and Yahweh Shah is the name of uh, who the world called Jesus Christ. His name in the Paleo Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. So it's going to be a quick lesson through the Spirit, man. Um, a quick little lesson through the spirit something i want to touch on as i've been watching certain videos and just hearing about certain things that's going on with our people like our genetic makeup and things of like that man um we guys you know according to the bible the most high god and his son called us gods of this earth now when we say we guys right you know you, you may hear a brother say hey what's up god you know we're not saying that we are the creator because god that just means power and elohim it just means power you have authority so we're not saying that we are the god of the world that created everything but we are gods of this earth we were made to judge this earth we were created to serve i mean we was created to rule this earth the most high was created us to be an authority of this earth but we the guys of the earth, man. So this is gonna be a quick little um a quick little lesson just to show you according to the Bible that we are, you know, we more than just African Americans. You know, we we're not that our press gave us that name. We more than just black. When we call ourselves black, we downgrade ourselves because if you think about it, we're not the color black. We we, we brown. We different shades of brown. We're not really, you're not you're not gonna see a black person. Literally, literally black. You're not gonna see a black person walking around here. You're not gonna see it. So we're not black. And then you know, black is all black is associated with death. You notice that when y'all think about the term black, it's associated with death. That's why when folks to a funeral, they wear black. They say, "Watch out for the black cat." It's a, it's, it, it's a, uh, it, uh, what they say, what they say about the black cat? Uh, is, is you'll be cursed. Be watch out for the black cat. With, um, or, you know, um, when you playing pool, right? What you the the ball that you don't want to try to hit is the black ball. They call it black cake, devil cake, white cake, angel cake. So black is associated with death. So when we call ourselves black, it's like we downgrading ourselves. You feel what I'm saying? So we bigger than just you know African American and things like that. That's why our, our oppressor put these names on us because he didn't want us to understand how powerful we is. He didn't want to understand. He didn't want us to understand how great we is. You gotta think about it, man. We are we are literally superior. We are we are literally superior. You feel what I'm saying to every other people, especially the so-called white man. They understand that. That way they try to keep us at the bottom. But we gotta re remember uh, what the Most High God said about us. And this is what yeah. Let me get this in John. John 10 and 34. Let me get that real quick. I'm tripping. The book of John. Chapter 10 and verse 34. Yeah, how wish I answer them or Jesus answered them? It is, is it not written in your law? I have said you are gods. So Christ basically saying, hey, ain't it written in your law? It, didn't it say you gods? So where did he get this from? Babe, can you go to Psalms 82 and 6? I'm going to show y'all where he got that from. When he said, ain't it written in your law? I said you are gods. He got it, he got it from the book of Psalms. Psalms 82 and 6. I have said you are God to all of you are children of the Most High. So this is where you get this from. When he said, isn't it written in your law? I said you are God's. Boom. I have said you are God's and all of you are the children of the Most High. So he's speaking to the Israelites in this sense. Right? David was an Israelite. So he's speaking to the Israelites. The Bible said we are God's. <laughs> but Get verse 7, though. Can you get verse 7? See what verse 7 say. 
but you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. So we were, we wasn't, a, we was created, we was originally, the most high plans was for us to never die. His plans was for us to never die. We was going to be in a complete authority. The Israelites was created to be in rulership forever and ever. But we disobeyed the most high God and we didn't keep his laws and commandments. So he punished the, He punished us and jumped us to the bottom to now to the point where we fall like princes. We fall like these other nations. You got to think, man. Um. Us, when you look at our genetic makeup and look at how they genetic makeup is and how, you know, how we go out to the, go in the sun, we don't get sunburnt, things like that. We get more powerful, we get more stronger. The sun loves us, but it hates them. You know, so you got to think about it. When most, I, like I said, when most of God created us in the beginning, his attention was us for ne to us to never die. We were supposed to be in rulership forever and they were supposed to be under us. And no, they was all they, they was dying. They was dying. We wasn't. We wasn't supposed to die. But since we broke the commandments, now we die. Now we get, you know, old and you know things like that. But we it wasn't the most high God intentions for that because we are the we the guys of this earth, man. This this earth wouldn't run without us. And they understand that. You know, the other nations, uh, they understand that they need us. They'll tell us to go back to Africa. They'll tell us if we hate this place, leave. They'll say that all the time. But how would this place look without us? How how would America be? Let's be real. How would America be without black and Latinos? Just imagine all the black and Latinos and Native American Indians. We all left this country. We all even you can say even you can just you can say all people of color. We all left the country. How would the so-called white man live? How would he survive? During the time of the Dark Ages, um. The so-called Moors, the so-called black people, we taught them how to bathe. We taught them all these different things during the time where, you know, I think it was the time of not, I was it slave. It might during the time of segregation and slavery when they had women called helps. Like if you see, if you ever seen that movie, The Help, that way they get that from you. Had you had black women, they called them uh, helps, and they would basically be like maids and make sure the house clean like that. We taught. Our women talk. Our women literally raise their children. You know, we really taught them how to do stuff because they they didn't know how to do most of the stuff. So that's why they got the helps uh women to cook because they couldn't do it. They couldn't even today. Who cook like us? They don't season their food like they can't season off their food. So they get us to do it. If you go to any good restaurant, who in the kitchen cooking? You will see them at the cash register. Cause they don't really trust it with money, but you will see them at the cash register. But who in the back cooking? Mostly so-called black men and women. That, that's who in the back cooking. So this place wouldn't run without us, man, because we are the gods of this earth. Who dominating in sports? How would sports look if we wasn't in the, uh, in the entertainment in, in entertainment industry? How would sports look? How would the music, how would the music be? Although Esau, the so-called white man, has been messing our music up, you know what I'm saying, with the rap, he's pushing all that violence on our people. But besides that, how would the music be? Even going farther back before they even start poisoning the music like that, like into the 1970s, 1980s, how would music be if we wasn't here? How would it, we we literally it's all these genres of music is based off black people. Even country music. Country music is based off the soul of our people. Pop. Pop is based off our people. Where they get kids pop from. It mostly be our music. So all the genre of music is based off the soul of our people. And I want to play that video. Um matter of fact, hey. Uh, I'm finna send this video to my, uh, my rib. Look, well, it ain't too long. She could play it just real quick. Oh, this eater might basically saying the same thing I'm saying. So we had to realize who we is, man. We not, we not no average Joes out here, man. We not no, um, I just, oh yeah, I just, all praise it. Let me send it. 
So I, I just sent her the video. Um, Low with she could pull it up. But yeah, man, we know average Joes out here. Uh, us is so called. Us is so called. I say so called black because we're not really black, like I said earlier. But us is so called black people. We have to realize our greatness, man. You know these people fear us. You know they fear us and they 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 jealous and envy of us, man. And I got another. I'm gonna send. Matter of fact, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send my ribs one more video after this so she can play. And I'm gonna show y'all the envy and hate that these people have. Um. Now I send it to your messages. I'm gonna show you that the, the uh, I'm gonna show you the hate and the envy that these people have towards us, man. And it's it's because of who we is. It's because of how the Most High God created us that makes them envy and jealous, and they fear that they that they fear that uh that us being superior, man. They fear that they understand that all these times that they thought they were superior than us, they starting to realize that hold up, these people superior than us, man. These people, they they stronger than us. You know, we need these people. And they're starting to realize that. And that's what they're really starting to hate. They're starting to hate us because they realize that they need us. You know what I'm saying? So can you pull it? Can you pull that video up? Then she can pull it up. And this is why this is why history not being taught. Our history not being taught in the schools on where we come from and who we are. They try to erase our history. Cause they don't want us to know that, man. We the gods of this earth. The most high God created us in his image. He said he made man and woman in his image. That's why the so-called white woman, you know, they envy and be jealous of our women. Okay, she said she's trying to send it to her email. So come, why, why is she doing that? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak on it before she, um, why she, why I think she sent it? Why is she doing that? But yeah, man, this is, and this is very important to understand this because if we don't understand that we guys, we're just gonna look at each other as, if we don't understand that we guys, we're just gonna look at each other as just, you know, niggas and things like that, or just African Americans. But it, it's, it's greater than that. When you look at these movies, right? When you look at all these movies, with these people with these supernatural powers, the Avengers, uh, um, uh, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, uh, movies like that, um, is based off our people. It's based off our people. Yeah, think about it. Uh, um, Samson killed like a thousand Philistines with a jawbone of a lion. You know that mean what? What man? You know, really doing that, and he was an Israelite like us. It comes with us being these guys of the earth. What they say? Uh, what they say? Uh, Saul killed his thousands, and David his ten thousands. You know how many Philistines that is? Even if you a thousand of them. Now, when you watch that movie Three Hundred, right? When you watch that movie Three Hundred, that movie Three Hundred is based off us. That movie three hundred is based off us, based off the Israel, based off the Israelites. But you know they call them Greek. They make them the Greeks in the movie, right? But those people in movie three hundred is based off us. Let me show. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what. It, let me show y'all this. Let me read something to y'all. Let me, let me show y'all this. Let me show y'all this, man. These movies are based off us. Let me read something to y'all. This the book. This the book of Judges, chapter seven and verse seven. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the three hundred men that lap with light, lap will I save you and deliver the Midianites into thy hand, and let all the other people go every man unto his place. So Gideon went to war with only three hundred men. The same thing that happened in the movie 300. They was at a was in war with 300 men slaying all those men that had way more men than they had. And that always happened to us in the Bible, the Israelites. We always went to war. Nine times out of ten, the people we went to war against, they had way more soldiers and way more skilled men than we had. 
but we always end up overcoming them because of the most high God. So these movies and things like that, these movies are based off us. Our history, we are, our, our people are so special that they steal our history and make a movie off of it and make millions of dollars Hard off of obsession. it. Hard obsession. The world is obsessed with us. You can play it. I'm going to send you the other one too after this. Well, I'm going to send it right now so you can go ahead and have it up. So, like, yeah, I ain't mean to cut you off. You can finish what you were saying, then I'll play it. No, nah, you good. That's, that's, that's all I was saying. You good. Okay. It was never hate. It's always you are an obsession. The world is obsessed with us. It was never hate. It's always Please excuse my hair. I was just about to do it. And then I saw this and I really wanted to stitch it because yes. Yes, 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 yes. This goes back way long ago. And I'm actually gonna tag this creator who suggested two amazing books. And as a bookstore owner, I highly suggest people read about their culture not just like now but ancient culture with that said i've known since i was a kid that pop culture emulates everything black everything black unless you're like listening to country but even that is like derivative of black music so yeah no even country i've said so many times like black people are elite i feel like black people are just like some of the best that you can find and when i met when i said that i meant it and i said it with my chest because i completely believe it if you want more proof look up the moors okay they taught the world how to wash their ass you know ancient egypt like they were black uh don't let anybody let you think otherwise i mean look up african midwives having a better birth rate and like the mothers doing perfectly fine while their European counterparts are killing people and babies. Just, it's, it's in, insane, an insane difference. Have you ever heard of the Eve gene? Yep. If you haven't, you should look it up. I digress because I could keep going. Like the Count of Monte Cristo was about a black man. And we see it now today, every single day with pop culture emulating black culture and taking it rebranding it and making it um mass marketed in a very diluted kind of way and like just look at them they're gorgeous unless your name is candace owens then you suck right so i got two more videos i'm gonna show y'all but um you know, yeah, that show you that shows you out there, um, how a lot of a lot of them know, man. A lot of them know, um, that we. She said we. She used the word elite. She said that we are elite, and that's elite. that's the word to use elite. when it comes to us, especially when you read the Bible and you read into the Israelites, man. We were elite. You know, our women was even elite. You had our women that was literally, you know, um. Like our foremother Judith, she cut the head off of a king. You know, I uh I uh I, I um foremother Esther, you know, she saved us from a whole genocide. You know, so a lot of our women, even not even just the men, just our our nation, period. And that's why the so-called white man, he had to break up the homes of the so-called blacks. He had to break us up. Because we too powerful, we too powerful when the so-called black man. The so-called black woman, the, the so-called Israelite man, the so-called Israelite woman, when they don't want to court and they're keeping the commandments under the most high God, they understand that, hey, we too powerful for them. You know, and they and they, that's something that they, they fear that. And it's like, we can't do nothing about it. 
you know, we can't help that they fear us, man. It's it's something deep down inside them that make them fear us. They're not gonna come out and say, "Bro, I fear y'all," and it's a it's a fear of basically us doing what they did to us. You know, us us getting upset, realizing what they did. That's why they hide it so much because they don't want us to know all the stuff that they did to us. Because they feel like if we find out the stuff that they did to us, we're gonna turn around and do it do it to them plus more. You know, so this next video I'm finna show y'all, basically going into a, and, and, and this video kind of wild, man, because this this just show you, and it, it show you when people, people probably didn't look at this video like how I looked at it, you know, when, he, when, the, when, the, when the so-called white man was talking in the video, he was basically saying things that basically he kind of didn't like that we did as a people. Because the question that the brother got on the screen was asking, he said, question for all white people to all black people. He said, question for all white people to all black people. So he basically uh, going to say a question to him. And, you know, you on TikTok, you have people that can respond to what you're saying. And I didn't, I thought he was going to say something that was going to be kind of out of the world when he was saying something that he disliked that all black people do. I thought he was going to say something kind of ignorant and things like that. How he was saying it, because he said it makes him upset. He was kind of saying this stuff that this stuff that black people do, that I'm finna say, it kind of it, it, it bothers me, you know, it, it upsets me. He was saying something like that. So I'm thinking, what this man finna say? You know, he might what he finna say uh about us. But listen to what he say, listen to what makes him upset. This is what I'm saying. We have to know who our enemy is, man. Israel, Israel always had enemies throughout the Bible. All throughout the Bible, Israel have enemies. Other nations always came up to war against Israel. So what make you think even in 2023 that those people don't went away, that we won't have enemies no more? These people hate us. Listen what he's, I want y'all to listen to what this man say that he does, that he hate about us, basically. So you can play it. People, as a race, what would you say? You asked for it, so here it goes. This is a very easy answer for me. It's something that's bothered me for as long as I can remember about every single black person that I've ever seen or known or seen in a movie. I find it extremely disturbing, and it makes me furious that... All black people as a race age so flawlessly. I mean, what's that about? You all just get more beautiful the older you get. Meanwhile, the older I get, the more I start to look like look like one of these, you know. Just like an old... You're not wrong. Keep being beautiful. You see what I'm saying? Like, just think about that. This man said that angers him. It makes him burn inside because we age like fine wine. Just think, I want y'all to think about that, man. Just imagine you getting mad at a person that they, they get, you get mad at a person for something they can't help. Because we the guys of this earth. And that's, and that's where it comes from. They, they look at us and they look at themselves. That will make them envy and jealous and hate. They look at us. They see what we doing. They see, okay, I like their hair. Oh, my gosh. Like, think about how our hair is, bro. You know what I'm saying? How our hair grow. You know how our hair can lock up. You can cut your hair off. You have dreads. You cut your, you cut your hair off. You can sew them back on and your hair start back growing. It's like a root with a, uh, with a tree, with a plant. It, is, it can grow back. Same thing with our hair. So they look at things. They look at how we walk, how we dress, how we talk, how we sing, how we just, how we just, it's like how we communicate with each other. Like they, they always want to be in the mix. They always want to know what's going on. They always want to be seen. They always, they always want to know what we're talking about. They always want to, you know, they always want to know what's going on because it's, it's they, they, it's like a, it's weird. It's weird. It's like, 
they love us and hate us at the same time. Love as they want to be us, but then they understand I can't beat them. They're just so good. I can't beat them, so I hate them. That's where that's all, all that come from. All this come from that. So, um, but you clear the next video, and I'm going to get back to the script. But you can play that. I sent, I had sent my real one more video to show, man. And, you know, our people did a lot, man. And our people, I say this all the time. If any other race, you know, the so-called white man, white white man and white woman, if they would have had to go through what all we went through as a people, they would have been exterminated a long time ago. It wouldn't be no more so-called white people. If white people had to serve an ancient, if white people had to serve an ancient Egypt, the time of how the Israelites or the time that the Israelites were there, if they was there serving, they would have been exterminated, bro. Because there was no sunscreen back then. You know, it wasn't no oil you can put on when them bumps get on your arm. It wasn't none of that. So you would have had to deal with that. And, you know, they, they body, they make up genetic. And, and this, they genetically make up, genetic makeup is not strong enough to withhold that, man. And, the, and sunscreen, when you look in the sunscreen, right? Sunscreen is basically invisible melanin. It's basically, I seen a video of, basically, this man had this little camera. He had this camera. And he was putting sunscreen on folks, or, sun, or people were putting sunscreen on their face. He had a little camera. You could see, they basically see they bumps and stuff all the sun on their skin. And when they were putting the sunscreen on there, the sunscreen was brown. But when you put it on your hands, it's white. But the, but the dude had like one of them very, very expensive cameras where you can see deeper and deeper on their skin. The sunscreen is brown. So that's why when they put sunscreen on their skin and they go out in the sun, they don't get burnt because they really got melanin. They, they, their sunscreen is brown. So it's full in the sun to make them think they got melanin. So that's why they ain't get burnt because they make it's melanin in that sunscreen. See what I'm saying? So it's a it's a lot, man. It's a it's a lot of stuff. But you can play that video. Hi, my name is Jay and welcome to my page. Um, this is a repost because I misspoke in my last one, so I wanted to correct that. Um, but because of the Black Woman Follow Train, I'm getting a lot more um, Black content creators on my For You page. And it's still about autism, it's still about mental illness, it's still about the things that I like. It's just a more diverse group of people talking to me about their experiences. So because of that, I also get to witness white nonsense. And one of the things that I witnessed was somebody talking about how it's not black culture, it's Southern culture. And I just want to remind you that three generations ago, black women were raising white babies. Because our parents were too fucking busy fanning themselves and drinking sweet tea on the front porch and talking shit about their church members to be fucking bothered with us. So they would send us to the help to take care of us. So black women were bathing us. Black women were feeding us. Black women were teaching us how to be good people. That ain't work. And you're sitting here being like, it's not, mm -mm, it's not black culture. Where do you think that kindness came from? Because it wasn't us. Do you know the strength it takes to raise a lion cub and hope it doesn't grow up to fucking eat you? The reason you like collard greens is because somewhere in your family line one of the adults didn't give a fuck about their kids and passed it off to another individual to take care of. White people were killing their babies left and right and they had enough compassion in their hearts to still fucking care for us. And black people never changed their blackness. So we were eating collard greens, oxtail, pig's feet, all sorts of things. The vernacular and vocal tone that we have comes from them because they were teaching us. And that's who we were around the most. So, before you sit up there on your high fucking horse, remember 
who helped raise the members of your family. It might not be you, but it was at least two, three, four, five generations back that were being raised by black women. Show some fucking respect. Please and thank you. So let me get let me get this verse right here. I'm I'm, I'm gonna get this verse. Um I think it's um Matthew five and thirteen. That's what I want. Let's get Matthew five and thirteen. Matthew five and thirteen. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but be cast out and be trodden under the um, foot of men. So the Bible said, the first half it said, ye are the salt of the earth. So the Bible just said, the Bible letting us know, hey, this is in red letters now. Christ said this. He said, we are the salt of the earth. So. You know when you use salt for food, it makes your food good. It makes your food better. You don't got no salt on your food. Nine times out of ten, it ain't going to be good. So the Bible said we are the salt of the earth. And that's how you know it's talking about us. We 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 really make this world go round and round. Like I said earlier, if we wasn't here, man, this place would go down. People need, you don't, People don't understand that, man. All the racists that I'm saying they be trying to go go back to Africa. You don't want us to go back to Africa. You don't want us to leave. If we leave, this place is gonna go down here. Nobody ain't gonna know what to do. Cause we are the gods of this earth. We man, and when I say we are gods, just look at the examples that we have in front of us. Just look at the examples. Just go look at sports, for instance. Michael Jordan. Who doing what my just look at Michael Jordan highlights if you ain't even really seen Michael Jordan highlights. Go back and just look at Michael Jordan stuff he doing. LeBron James. Look Kobe Bryant. Steph Curry. Just look at this. Just look at the, the athletic ability that our people have. How fast we is, man. You know, I we dominating in every sport, every sport you think about. We going crazy in. Put us in any sport. We gonna go crazy in. Do we just naturally good? We just we we just naturally, you know, the 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 best at everything we do. Any any sport, football, we could play, we we could play any position on the field. You can have a brother play quarterback, he playing receiver, he playing cornerback. He can play safety. He, hey man, we we could do that, man. It's very rare that you see a so-called white man can do that. A white. When the last time you seen a, a a white man, a white dude playing at cornerback in the corner position on the football field? When the last time you seen the uh, cause at cornerback you got you got to have good hips. It's like you got it's like you got to have good. You gotta have a rhythm. You gotta be able to move. You gotta be able to, you know, how people dance and things like that when they move their hips. You gotta be able to flip your hips when you play a cornerback, man. And a lot of so-called white men don't have that type. They don't have that type of rhythm. They don't got no good hips. So we gotta understand this is this is facts, man. This is all facts. You have people look at this. Oh, he's speaking hate. He's speaking. He's speaking. He's, he's, man, he's speaking hate. Everything I'm saying is everybody know this facts. This ain't this don't take no rocket science for people to see that we are gods on this earth, that we are superior on this earth. It don't take no it don't take no no rocket science to to try to understand and see that. You know, we just gotta realize that ourselves. So can you get um five and fourteen, Matthew five and fourteen? So this is what the most high God said again. Ye are the salt of the earth. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on hill 
cannot be hid. So we are the light of the world. You got to think, a so-called black people, we are not human beings. We aren't human beings. We are illuminated beings. We are beings of light. Illuminate means being of, being of light. You know, that's why, you know, um, so-called black people, we, we, but we come together when it's hot or we come together, we, we start getting hot. Right. That's that. That's that energy. That's that energy. When we, when we come together in one room and get hot. That's that energy that's in us, man. Go out in the sun. Right. You, you, you're glowing. You're glowing. The you, 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 you sun in your skin. We are beings of light, not beings of the dark. What they call uh, what they call Blade on that movie Blade, um, the Daywalker. They call him the Daywalker because he's a being of light. He's the in the day. We're not dark. We're not. And the Illuminati stole our name, and they they because we're illuminated beings, and they stole the name to my Illuminati, which they get it from us. But they not in the light. Everything they do is in darkness, though. They don't do things to be seen, so they doing it completely backwards. But we are the beings of light. We're not human beings. We got to stop saying that. We got to stop saying that we human beings. We're not like everybody else. The Lord separated us from everybody on the face of the planet. But can you give me uh, Deuteronomy 76? The Most High God separated us. He made a covenant with us. He made a covenant with the Israelites. He didn't make no covenant with everybody on the face of the planet. He didn't give his commandments to every race on the face of the planet. He gave his commandments and his laws to the Israelites, meaning we are special in his eye. And believe it or not, you still have people try to deny this. But believe it or not, we're gonna we are gonna be ruling in New Jerusalem according to Isaiah fourteen and one through two. We are gonna be ruling in Jerusalem, and these same laws and commandments that uh, we are uh, that He gave us, we're gonna have to keep in the kingdom of heaven. And the other nations that's gonna be servants and handmaids under us, Isaiah fourteen and one through two, they are gonna be our servants and handmaids. And they're going to be having to keep these commandments uh, under us. Now, if they don't keep these commandments, they're going to be forced to keep these commandments. You know, that's, we're going to be back into our, we're going to be back in our God, like our God, like nature. So, uh, Bay, can you uh, give me Deuteronomy 76 on the screen? This the, this the book of Deuteronomy 76. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So that's just showing you that the Most High God, ever since the beginning, this is in a this is in a Torah. The Most High God, since the beginning, he had have a chosen people. He said he chose these people, and it's the Israelites, because I'm going to show you that Israelites. Can you give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1, babe? Deuteronomy 1 and 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So this, this is in the beginning of Deuteronomy 1 and 1. I mean, the book of Deuteronomy. So this is why I went here to show you when you read Deuteronomy 7 and 6, the context of Deuteronomy 7 and 6 is he's speaking to all Israel. So that's why we said you are a chosen people above all people. When you are above all people, that means that you're superior than them. And then this is why the so-called white man, he don't tell us that we are above all people. Because that means we're going to look at us being superior than them. This is why they give us white Jesus. This is why they give us all these uh uh uh, these fake biblical characters of uh, they have not fake, but they whitewash them. That's why they whitewash them because they want us to look at them as being superior. It's, it's a problem when we do it, but when they do it, it's cool. That's why they get upset when the Little Mermaid is a black woman now, a fictional character. They upset. People got outraged because she's a white woman. I mean, a black woman. In the movie, people get upset because uh, the new Spider Man is a is a little black boy, Miles Morales from New York. People get upset at white people. White people get upset at fictional characters. 
being black. Right? Because they don't see themselves no more. When they were seeing themselves all over all over the TV and it's getting whitewashed and everything, now it wasn't, it wasn't they weren't saying nothing. But now when we, you know, when we start to see ourselves more, they it's a problem. Because they feel like they they feel like they losing that 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 superior power that they have to us. Cause they already know we got it over them. But just to see them, you know, lose that, they they don't like that, man. That's facts. That's factual. Um I'm gonna get this um this preset right here. I can pull it up, baby. Uh, Rock, can you give me Roman three and one through two? Dang, it's one oh seven. Crazy. Romans chapter three and verse one. What advantage then have the Jew, or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way, chief because uh that until them were committed the oracles of God. So he basically saying, man. So it's like it's like it's like somebody asking me what profit, what profit is what profit is it to be a Jew? And I'm saying everything, everything. It profits every. It's, it's everything to be a Jew. It's everything to be a king on this earth. It's everything to be a god, a prince of this earth, man. That's what. What do you think the name Israel come from? Let's get that. Let's get that real quick. Because our forefather Jacob, he got the name Israel for wrestling a angel. He earned that name Israel. Let's see what that word Israel means. Can you give me Genesis 32 and 28? Now, this is what we got. We got this from our forefather, Jacob. Israelites come from our forefather, Jacob. You know, he earned that name, man. So, we take, we, 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 and you have people trying to tell us, uh, forget about Israel. Forget about Israelites. No, we, we say this boldly because our forefather literally wrestled an angel and got blessed with this name. So, we're going to honor that name. So, this Genesis 32 and 28. And he said, why shall... My bad. And he said, my name shall be called, thy name, my bad. And, it's like, he said, and he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God and with men and hath prevailed. So prince of the power, basically. So prince of the power is how he is the name that he got for wrestling that angel, man. The most I got blessed him for that. So, and with men hath prevailed. So, you know, um, we are gods of the earth, brothers and sisters, man. We have to, if a brother call you a king, we can't, we can't, we can't take that lightly. You know, sometimes we just throw that word around, all right, king, all right, king. But we got to really look at our brother, like, literally, bro, royalty. Think about this. It's Jews, Israelites, kings walking around America right now. Brothers that we see every day, we see the image of God when we look at our brothers and sisters. We see them. Let, let's see my, you see my name at the bottom of the screen? Uh, I don't know if y'all can see it. Uh, stolen Prince. That's what we is. We are literally stolen princes. And you have all the other nations. They don't understand what they're doing. The other nations are literally, the other races are literally, every single day, they are looking down upon kings. Princesses of the earth, they're looking down upon us every single day. And they don't even know it. A lot of our people don't even know it. You know, so we got to remember that, you know, we are God of the earth. We got to move like it, man. We got to keep these commandments and just remember that we come from greatness. You know, we can't let nobody tell us who we is. You know, we can't let no other other nation tell us who we is and dictate our story and our history. Because, of course, of course, they tell us our, our history is going to be whitewashed and all backwards and uh, uh, erased and stolen and all that. So we got to dig into this stuff ourselves, man. Dig into, all right, it's plenty of books out here. 
you know, we in we in 2023. You got the internet. You got now. You got a computer on your phone. Your computer, your phone. Look up anything you want to to learn about your history, man. You know, but Lord, when this bill was edifying, man, um, I just want to just to let brothers and sisters know who he is, man. You know that we just bigger than these byword names that the so-called white men have been putting on us for 400 plus years, and we gotta remember that we are the gods of this earth. As a matter of fact, let me get this. Let me get this verse real. Quick. I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna close out. Can you give me Second Ezra um six and fifty five in the apocrypha? It's a stolen books. It's fourteen missing books in the apocrypha that was taken out by the so called white man because he talking about he didn't feel like it fit in the Bible. How are you gonna tell us what don't fit in our Bible? See what I'm saying? You see how proud for that is. Second Ezra six and fifty five in the apocrypha. All this have I spoken before the O Lord, because I made the world for our sakes. So, the Most High God, um, He made this world for our sakes. So, this world that you see, the whole earth was made for the inhabitant of the Israelites. And soon we're going to get that rulership and that dominion back when Christ come back and deliver us in New Jerusalem and all around the world. You're going to see a new government. For the so-called black and Latinos, they're gonna be the new government and the new body. They're gonna be the new authority. We're gonna be the new authority, right? So if you don't like being, if you don't like seeing the so-called black man in authority or rulership, you better get used to it. Because everything in the kingdom of heaven is gonna be black owned. You know, so with that, I'm gonna give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shimi I was shy. I say shalom. Kwame Asharala. What percent did you tell me to get? <laughs> no, you good. You already poured it. You good. You can you can end it.